What's up, everybody? I know it's been a long time since I uploaded, but I'm back, guys. So, I just had to take some time off, you know, the uploads. But, I'm back, and today's video, we're going to be reviewing my Rubik's Cube collection. I know it's not on topic with the channel name, with Pokemon, but... I don't know. I like cubing too, so I'm going to show you guys all my cubes. I will start with the worst, which is probably... Um, now, I'm going to start with the original. The original Rubik's brand 3x3. Three three. All these are... Some of these are going to be mix, mixed up. Like, uh, come with 3x3s three and stuff that I'll show you later. But this is the regular 3x3 three three Rubik's cube. As you see, it says Rubik's. I actually got this at Target like a long time ago. And I did put some Vaseline in it so to like break it up. So it's like it's decently fast now. But it just it can't corner cut or anything. But I mean you can finger trick it. If you know what that means. I mean you can do some pretty fast turns like this algorithm right here. I really don't know how to solve a cube, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't really learn how to solve one yet, but I do know how to do some of these tricks right here, like that, but it's not the best cube, it's not my best cube, my best cube is the, like, over there, I'll show you later, but this is definitely not a speed cube, I mean, it's not a speed cube at all, because, um, as you can see here, it has these uh, squared uh, I mean, centers, so it does not corner cut at all. But I'll show you later in the video my speed cube and how it's like rounded off, not squared off. But I can do a like, checkerboard pattern. Looks pretty cool on camera. That's what a checkerboard pattern looks like. and solve it. I think it's kind of cute. Very fast. But let's move on to the next cube. So that was my first cube I ever got, actually. This was actually my brother cube, and he just doesn't use it a lot, so I just kept it. My third my second worst is probably well not I'm not gonna worst rank to worst, but I have another Rubik's brand cube with it is a Disneyland cube. Look, as you can see right here, it says Rubik's. So, it's made by the Rubik's company. And it is just very... It's worse than this one. I put Vaseline in this one, too. If you don't know what Vaseline does to keep it, breaks, it breaks down the plastic. And it makes it, like, turn a little bit better. But this one just doesn't turn that great. Like, it gets it gets stuck. Like, 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 it like I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not good. Like, some of the pictures are, like, backwards, like, yeah, Goofy, oh, wait, like, Goofy right here, his neck should be right there, not right there, and then Daisy is literally flipped upside down, that's her body, and that's her head, it's upside down, but, um, some of them are right, like, Mickey Mouse right there, and, uh, Donald Duck, and Minnie Mouse, so, some of the, yeah, yeah, yeah Goofy, or, Oh no, this is, uh, I forgot the name, but his head is upside down, as you can see. That's his tongue, and his tongue should be, like, right there. And his mouth should be right there, too. But, let's get to the turning. The turning is not that bad. I mean, it's not that great. It is literally the worst cube I ever I have. It, I mean, it moves pretty fast. Probably, you guys probably think I'm lying, because I'm moving that super fast, but... If you can feel it right now, it is very bad. Sometimes it just doesn't even turn. Like, I'm trying to turn the middle. It's not turning. Sometimes it just doesn't turn. But let's try to do a checkerboard pattern. I'll show you what a checkerboard pattern looks like. This is what a checkerboard pattern... Yeah, this is what a checkerboard pattern looks like. Doesn't look like anything. Doesn't look... It doesn't look like much. But that's what the pattern is. 
But, yeah, so that's the Disneyland movie cube. I got this from Disneyland when I went to Disneyland in Los Angeles. I went to Disneyland, and I got this, and it just isn't that great. I tried to put some Vaseline in. It made it a little bit better. But, out of the box, it just doesn't move good at all. So, let's get into the next movie cube. The next cube... I'm, it's gonna be the mini cube. It doesn't look mini at all, but look, my hands. I'll show you a regular Rubik's cube to a mini. It's only like two of these. It's just, yeah, it's this. It's as big as, yeah, it's as big as four little blocks here. But uh, it is missing a piece and it is scrambled because I don't know how to solve a Rubik's cube. So it's, it's good turning. It's probably better turning than, uh, the Mickey Mouse one, but it's not Rubik's. I don't know what it comes. I, mean, I don't know what this is made, what brand it is, but it doesn't show any brand because I don't really know. I don't know what brand this is, but I mean, it's a little nice little Rubik's cube. Baby fidget made it. A little Rubik's cube. So I think my sister actually has like a white one. As you see, the inners are black. My sister has one of those in white. And it is missing a piece. I don't know where it is. I tried to find it, but I just couldn't find it. But that's literally basically it on this. I can't make a checkerboard pattern because it's not solved. So, let's move on to the next cube. But it is pretty cool cube because uh, it's very small. Let's go on to the next cube. Which is, it's not very much a cube, but it's a 1 by 3 Yeah, 1 by 3 by 3 I think. That's what it's called. But, I can do a little bit, a couple finger tricks on it. Like, oh. But, it is solid. It's very easy. Now, let's do a scramble real quick. Oh, wait. That is not very much of a scramble. There you go. Do a little bit of a scramble. I'm trying to scramble as good as I can. Do one of these. And do one of these. Ah, come on. This cube isn't uh, the greatest either, so. I mean, it's, it's way better. I mean, it's better turning than all the other ones. Some of the other ones. So I think that's. Wait. Okay, so that's going to be scrambled. That's how scrambled it is. So I'm going to solve it here. I know how to solve this, but I do not know how to solve the others. Because the others are just super, super hard. My brother can solve one, I think. Yeah, he can solve one, but I can't. Because he's much older than me. And it is solved. So it is very easy to solve one of these. As you can see, it's solved. But, kind of like a fidget spinner. But it's not. But, pretty cool though. So, let's move on to the next cube. And the next cube is going to be actually my speed cube. So, this is actually my second ever speed cube. My first ever speed cube is probably like over, over there. Yeah, it is over there actually. I don't have that many cubes. I only have like... Eight. I only have like eight. I only have exactly eight actually. But as you can see, this one is very fast. And as I was saying earlier, as you can see, it is like circled off, not like squared off like this one. As you can see, this one is squared off. And this is uh, circled off and it's like rounded so it can actually corner cut like this. I made this very loose so it might pop. Sometimes, but it is very fast. It's nice. It's not the best speed cube, but I did get it with the bundle with the four x four and a two x two, which is over there. Am I gonna? I'm gonna show it. So this is the three x three from that bundle. So it's very nice. It's not the best cube, but it's uh oh. There you go. See, it popped. 
But there's the inner. It has like a, a spider core. I think that's what they call it. But it popped, as you can see. So you just put it back like usual like that. And this cube does get me so I just take it apart and put it back together. Yeah, that's the easiest way. I'm actually not a solid in like five seconds. But, but as you can see, it's very fast. Move that out of the way. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, I, I said, oh, once again, I just said, um, it came with a bundle. So let's try to do a uh, checkerboard pattern. As you can see, I can do one very fast. I could do a checkerboard pattern in under about well, five seconds. Under five seconds. But I'm not showing myself like that. On camera, that green looks very cool. But in real life, it does not look that cool. But that's what my. That's my. Uh, second reach for a brand. Ugh, I can't talk right now. Oh, it just popped. This is my second ever speed cube. My original speed cube is over there. I actually like that one more than this one, so we'll get right into that one. So, there's that one. Let me do a couple of these. Boom. And one of these. Boom. This is just like some algorithms that just make it solve itself when you choose to do them. So, there's that cube. So, we're going to get into the next one here. So, the next cube I have here is, yeah, as you can see right here, this is my main speed cube. But, uh, as you can see, the stickers are very bad. I tried to make some custom stickers because um, the rest of the stickers are very bad. So, I just took them off and tried to make some new ones. These are the custom stickers I made. These are <clears throat> these are very bad, and it's not solved. So just do it a bit more in here. But um, as you can see, this cube is very bad because the stickers. It's not bad, but the stickers are bad. The cube is very good, but the stickers are so bad. It makes it so ugly looking, like. Um, uh, this is, I forgot to tell you, this is a, actually a stickerless cube. It has a colored uh, plastic, so there's no stickers that come off. And this is, a, these are actually tiles, so they don't come off either. But these are the, sti what stickers are. Look, they get to peel them, if you don't know what the stickers are. But these used to have stickers just like this, just like the mini cube. It used to look perfect, but then um, they got really bad, because I had this cube for a long time. And it's just got very bad. But I hope you can hear me from this. Okay. Oh, it just popped once again. So gotta put it back together. But that is very I mean that's what this cube is. This cube is uh, not the best. Well it's good, but the stickers is not good. The stickers are not good. And it popped again. This one's very loose also. I didn't mention that already. This cube is very loose. Oh, there goes another piece. It is very loose, just like um this one right here. But um this one I don't think it pops as easy. But it's a very nice cube. So let's just move on to the next two demi cubes. So Enough three by threes. Look how many three by threes I have. Literally, I have five three by threes. Now we're gonna get into the four by four and the two by two. So I only have one two by two and one four by four. So I'll get into the four by four later. But here is the bu I got this with a bundle, as I said earlier, with a bundle. I got uh, the 2x2, two two, the 4x4, four four, and the 3x3 three three, all together, the bundle. But that blue kind of looks... Yeah, that blue is the same. See the green? Yeah, that green looks good. But this is um, the 2x2. Two two. I don't know how to solve the 2x2 two two either. But... Like... I want to learn how to solve two but don't have the time to solve it at the same time. Don't have the time to learn how to solve one. But here's a 2x2. Two two. Do a couple tricks. 
Get one of these. Boom, and one of these. Boom. But this cube's not that good either. I need to put, um, I'm just gonna say every cube I have right here, all the cubes on the left over there, I all, I all put, I put all, I mean, I put Vaseline in all of them. Except for uh, this, because you can't put Vaseline in here. But I put Vaseline in all the other cubes because I makes it feel better. But I am going to put a Vaseline in here someday, so. Because it's not that, it doesn't feel that smooth. It feels like very crackly. And it doesn't feel that smooth. Like, if I put a Vaseline in here, it probably feel like very smooth. But for now gonna leave it like this but let's get into the 4x4 because this video is too long so let's just go it over here and the last cube of them all as you can see there are no more cubes over there they're all over here sorry for that but um here's my 4x4 it is as you can see it's kind of messed up that's just from that's from uh, me doing some stuff, and it just got yeah, mixed up, mixed up. But here it is. It's uh, it's not the best cube actually. It's like probably one of the worst because it doesn't it it cannot corner cut at all. Like it can corner cut like a little bit, but like this much, it just, it just doesn't. But okay, let me just move it back real quick. But this. I mean, it's good, but then it just doesn't corner cut. It doesn't corner cut. But, um, so, but this is the last cube. And it's not solid, so I can't do, like, a checkerboard pattern or a pattern or something. But, it's still a very nice cube. Uh, I like it. Yeah, so, I like this cube. It is a very nice cube, also. It's not gonna like it popped one time and it sucked to put it back together. So if you wanna put one of these back together, it's gonna take a while. If you don't know how to put one back together, oh just don't take it out because it's gonna be very hard to put it back together. But look at that green and that blue. Looks like perfect. But uh, this popped on me one time and I had to put it back together. It took forever Because I didn't even know how to put one back together. So it took me a while, but eventually I got it But that's it That's actually it. So Hope you guys like this one. So let's get a recap of the cubes real quick So here are all the cubes that I have it doesn't seem like a lot. I think I do have a gear ball, actually. Uh, I'm just too lazy to get that right now. So, there's all the cubes right here. Some of them are cubes like this. It's not a cube. This is a 1x1 one one and 1x3x3. One by three by three. But, it's still very cool. So, here are all my cubes. Rubik's, Rubik's cubes. But they're not made by Rubik's, but, yeah. Um, I believe this is actually a, uh... Little Magic M3. But I just put these horrible stickers on it. But, very nice. I like all the cubes. They're very nice. Um, my favorite has to be these two. This one and this one. Because it just turns very smoothly. Like, and it's popped. But, regardless of popping regard the parping but that's gonna be it guys i hope you guys like this video and i'll catch you on the next one i might post tomorrow maybe i'll see um this video is very long though 20 minutes almost we're cracking the 19 30 19 minutes and 30 second mark so i'll catch you on the next one bye peace out guys i love you all Comment down below. Oh, yeah. Comment down below and uh, like this video and subscribe if you're new. Because it, it helps me very much with these videos. And if you guys like the content, smash that like button. 
and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.